subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Salesforce Pardot Specialist. So let's get started. Question number 1, what causes a prospect to sync from Pardot to Salesforce? Your answer is, for a prospect to sync from Pardot to Salesforce, the prospect record must meet the prerequisites and then an activity must trigger the sync. Question number 2, how do you configure default and custom prospect field sync behavior? Your answer is, 1. Edit the prospect field. 2. From the sync behavior dropdown, select the desired behavior. 3. Save the field. Question number 3. How email address changes sync to Pardot? Your answer is, when you change contact or lead email address in Salesforce, it can sync the new address to the corresponding prospect record in Pardot. This functionality is used if the sales team updates email addresses manually or via data append service like data.com, or if you merge lead records. Question number 4, how can you prevent a prospect from syncing with Salesforce? Your answer is, if Salesforce doesn't have a record with the same email address as the prospect record, don't assign the prospect in Pardot. Unassigned prospects don't sync when there isn't a matching record in Salesforce. However, if you have a prospect in Pardot, and a record with a matching email address exists in Salesforce, the records sync unless you disable CRM syncing. To disable CRM syncing for an individual prospect, navigate to the prospect's record and click on the Disable CRM Syncing. To disable CRM syncing for multiple prospects, you need to set up an automation rule that targets the prospects and then select the Do Not Sync with CRM action. Question number 5, what happens when you import a prospect? Your answer is, importing the prospects triggers full sync with Salesforce. When syncing many prospects, we recommend initiating an import outside of business hours to prevent any issues with syncing between Pardot and Salesforce. Question number 6, what is the importance of validating prospect field values during import? Your answer is, 1. Validating your values on import ensures that your data is as clean, and uniform as possible. 2. Uniform values help keep your data consistent when syncing with Salesforce. 3. Consistent field values make it easier to implement automation that uses these values. Question number 7. What does the metric, unique submissions mean? Your answer is, the total number of unique submissions, removes multiple submissions from the same prospect. Question number 8, what is the other channel for tracking lead source in Pardot beside Pardot campaigns? Your answer is, the other channels for tracking lead source is source field. The source field is often set through manual updates to CRM records or through Google Analytics UTM parameters. It may also be populated by Pardot automatically in some scenarios. Question number 9, when does Pardot populate the source field automatically? Your answer is, Pardot populates the source field automatically based on the prospect's referring URL. The referring URL is the page the visitor was on prior to visiting a page, with Pardot tracking code for the first time. Sometimes, Pardot does not receive the referring information it needs to populate the source field automatically. In those scenarios, the source field will be blank. Question number 10. If you don't use Google Analytics, can you still populate the source field using your own custom URL parameters? Your answer is, yes. You can use your own URL parameters to populate the source field with any custom value you'd like. Append the value to the end of your referring URL like the following. Question number 11, are there other ways to manually set the source field value? Your answer is, yes. You can update values using imports, automation rules, completion actions, segmentation rules, and engagement programs. You can also edit prospect records manually or populate the lead source field on the related lead in Salesforce. Question number 12, what are action steps? Your answer is, action steps are straightforward. They let you do something, like send prospects an email or change a field value at a given point in time. It is recommended that you start your engagement program with an action as this step forms the backbone of your engagement program strategy. Question number 13, when are custom redirects used? Your answer is, 
Custom redirects are used with visitors in mind to track banner ad clicks, links to third-party sites, links on social media, and access to files hosted outside of Pardon. When the custom redirect is clicked, the click is recorded in the custom redirect statistics table as long as they have accepted the cookies or the tracking opt-in is disabled. Question number 14. What is Pardot Advanced Email Analytics? Your answer is. The Advanced Email Analytics package expands on Pardot's standard email marketing functionality. It adds spam analysis of email content, subject line preview, and email rendering previews to see how your emails look across email clients and browsers. Question number 15. What is branching logic? Your answer is. When you use a rule or trigger option as a step in your logic, Pardot provides yes and no branches. The branches let you build out different paths for prospects who take different action. For example, if a prospect clicks a link in an email, your engagement program might tell Pardot to notify the sales rep. If they don't, the program tells Pardot to send them a second email to try to get them to engage. Branching logic enables you to create all of these custom journeys within the same program. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.